What's up guys, June here and in this video I'm taking a look at the new crystal chest in Pryptonas. I know a few other YouTubers have done videos on this topic already. I know specifically a friend and his famous Loot from 1000 series has already looked at this, but I wasn't entirely satisfied with his video for a few reasons. The first is it's not clear if he used all of the keys while the voice was active in the Ironworth sector, which does make a significant difference in the loot that you receive from the keys, so I wanted to do another check myself to see how that is. I'm planning to do a loot from 1000 Crystal Mother Load Shards, that's sort of my objective for opening all of these, and I just wanted to sort of break down the loot that I'm receiving in a, a more averaged way so that you can sort of anticipate what the value of one key will be rather than just sort of a general price check like a friend chose to do. So far I've used a total of 1,673 keys. One thing I did choose to do is every time I received a teeth and loop half I made a key and used it to reopen the chest. So even though I only purchased 1,673 to begin with, I had a total of 1,819 openings of the chest. My total return was about 102 mil. If you average all that out, that's almost 61k return per key, and since they cost me about 75k, that's not terribly bad. I got 630 crystal mother load shards, which is an average of 0.38 shards per key. I also got 148 Crystal Blossoms, which is an average of 0.088 per key. And I got this nice big stack of Corrupted Ore, which is an average of 6.5 per key. Now, since I only lost about 14k GP per key, just the smithing experience from the Corrupted Ore makes up for that in my opinion. Adamant Plate Bodies at the moment are about 17 GP per XP and this is definitely cheaper than that and it's nice and AFK and fast so I think this is definitely worthwhile doing especially because we don't know what the reward for opening the crystal maw is going to be it I can easily foresee this being something valuable and shooting the price of the keys up so that in addition to the blossoms we don't know the effect of the potion they're going to be used for yet but I can easily foresee those being useful as well. So I'm quite excited that I stocked up on these items and I will be sure to make a video detailing each of these things when the second batch comes out. Now, until then, I have a request from you guys. I'm running a little low on video ideas. I've had a lot of extra work uh, recently. I've been doing a lot of overtime, but that's now finished. They filled the open position that I was covering. So I have a lot more time on my hands and I'm running a little low on video ideas. I have a few but they are, most of them are going to be a little arduous. For example, I'm making an Araxor guide. I had one finished but with the new microphone I, I thought it would be better if I just re-recorded everything. And I want some ideas in the meantime. So if any of you guys have anything that you would like to see in a video, any sort of information I can give you or guides for anything, money making, anything like that, let me know in the comments and I will pick through those and see if anything tickles my fancy and get back to that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope there was some useful information in this video and I will see you next time.